Hi Felters and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you what I consider to be a really good starter kit and why. I have got a lot of people asking me what starter kit I recommend so I have found one for you from a company called Heidi Feathers. There will be a link in the description of my video below to all her kits so let's have a look through. First off it comes in this beautiful box which is fantastic to keep everything in but even before that it comes in really good eco packaging there's no plastic in it so you can recycle that so I like a company that thinks about these things and this box is beautiful let's open it up here we go always so exciting so we have the welcome note from Heidi Feathers and then we have a leaflet we'll open in a minute needles really important because these are good needles we've got an instruction booklet which will go through a few things I don't want to show you it all because it uh, ruins the surprise for you when you get it and then we get two bags with colors in so there are um, 20 colors and there's five grams of each color so that's plenty for you to get started with and then something let me just pop the box aside so that box is great because if you wanted to take your needle farting with you if you want to go somewhere you can keep it all nice and neat to begin with um, this I really like because it's a fantastic needle felting mat and you know these aren't expensive so it's really easy for good starter kits to put these in this is the normal size you get in a lot of starter kits that's a really old one now <laughs> I think it was from my first starter kit um, and it's tiny and it's not too bad but these big ones are great for leaning on and for doing items so I really love that so that's fantastic so let's just have a look through we're just going to open this little envelope up and we have got a needle holder we have got protectors for your fingers essential for when you are starting and we've got two beautiful little glass eyes I don't know if you can see them so if you want to make an animal in fact one of the tutorials is an animal so these are perfect for that animal and they're really good quality eyes so these finger protectors go on your thumb and your first finger when you're needle felting so you don't hurt yourself and this is a needle holder so this is a good quality one because it's wooden this pops out the needle goes in there and I'll show you actually how that works so these are the needles and I am going to open the booklet just on this first page here and we have the needle felting code and you're like well what's that well everything is color coded and these open up so that the needles can stay in and you've still got them in another tube so that's really good and you see how the needles are color coded at the top there makes your life a lot lot easier and these needles are quite good specialist needles whoops so we have got some triangular ones which are the normal ones for a starter kit then we have some spirals and we have some stars as well so it's really good because you get the chance to use some specialist needles and the sizes they range from are a 32 all the way up to a 42 gauge so when you start a project you're going to want to have quite a big needle which is the 32 and then as you get further along the project you go to the finer needles or the more specialist needles to help get a smooth finish. I do lots of videos for starters on needles, mats, walls, all sorts of things, so do have a look through my Needle Felting Essential series. But these needles are very good for a starter kit. Some starter kits, um, in particular on Amazon, will say the needles are small, medium or large. They are not really the best kits because you don't know what you're getting. Uh, some of those needles have been, I've heard people say that they can rust, I tend to keep my needles in my mats just in the corner an awful lot of the time or some people keep them in uh, some wool as well to stop them from rusting I've never had any rust on my needles whatsoever and the kit starter kits that you see that have like a hundred needles you don't need a hundred needles even now and I've been needle felting for a while now I have about 25 needles so as a starter kit these needles I really 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 recommend I think they're fantastic so just to show you, you would pop that in, there's a little tiny tube bit there to hold it and then you pop it in there and then that will hold your needle. You can needle fell and it's quite nice to have something 
Um, I tend to put a bit of tape on the top of mine, but this is really nice and delicate, it's really lovely. So that's very good to have that in the starter kit. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. I'm going to take these wools and I'm going to make, I think I'll make one of the items they've got because I don't want to ruin the surprise for you. And then I'm going to take these colours and try and make something else that, because I love making animals. So I'm going to see what I can make up from this lot. And just a couple of notes to say. So the starter kits that Heidi Feather does, she does quite a few. There's merino wool, natural wool tops, vegan, wet felting, spinning. She does premium kits, which have 200 grams in them. And they range from about 15 to 24 pounds. This kit with all of this was 19.99. Um, fantastic price, you get plenty of wools. It's nice to be guided, there are six tutorials for things to make because sometimes you'll get a load of wool and you'll look at it and go oh I don't know what to make and then you'll get this and you'll go oh but I don't have enough to make a hedgehog if I wanted to make a hedgehog so they've guided you on things to make so um, that's it for now let's have a look at what we can make so here we are the first thing I am going to try and make is a globe and you can see the instructions just down there but also just to note um, in this little booklet they've got basic sh uh, felting shapes and um, it, it teaches you a little bit about needle felting so it's a really good little booklet. So I took the um, light blue and I have really have speeded this up quite a lot and I needle felted it into the shape of a ball and then I've taken some of the dark green and I just needle felt it on the mat first and then I've tried to place it in shapes on the globe. Now this is not <laughs> to scale and it's not done as exact as it should be with the countries but I'm just trying to demonstrate what you can do. And then I took some light greens and put that on the top of the uh, dark greens and then I just took some of the darker blues and made that into the oceans. And it tells you in the booklet to start with the 32 needle and then to go to a 40 or a 42 so they're really guiding you through the process and then the second thing I made is a sheep so I took some grey wool and I needle felted it quite lightly into a, an oblong and then I made a little head out of the white and then I'm going to do the four legs tiny little balls but I have lots of tutorials on sheep, so do have a look at my channel if you're interested. And so just attach the little feet there. One, two, I think I will speed up the process in this sec so you don't have to see them all. And this is really simple to do. I just made this one up. So there's his four feet done. I've done him a little tail out of the grey. And then I've done two little ears, which I have to say were really tiny. <laughs> When things are really small, sometimes it's harder to felt them. You have to be a little bit careful of your fingers. If you make things a little bit bigger, it's, it can be easier at times. And I gave him a little fluffy um, bit of wool on the top. And then I've done two little eyes with the black and a tiny little mouth. So there we have it. That's the globe that I did. And there's the little sheep. Very happy. So there's lots of wools left over, some beautiful colours, um, and I just think this is a really good kit. And I hope this is, video has given you some ideas on what to spot for a really good starter kit. But as I said, it's linked in the description below. So thanks for watching and see you soon.